Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Zaki. I am the admin of this page. And uh, we are chatting for, for 10 minutes. Uh, also, we're going to sing songs. And um, if you have any questions relating to English, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, English is pretty nice language. Um, everyone uses it nowadays. Everybody likes English, right? I like English, I love English, I adore English. Um, because this language helps you to connect to the whole world. If you want to be a businessman, you must know a language that is popular so that you can connect to many people. Uh, actually, I um, when I was like 16 years old, um, I started out, started to learn the language by myself using uh, video games, chatting with people on the in these video games. And um, I just learned the language even without knowing that I'm doing so. And that's what I want to tell you. That if you, if you put too much effort and forcing your, your body and your mind to remember something or to uh, memorize something, your, your, your mind will do it just for a time. And then it will be just forgotten. So this means if you want to learn the language, you must love it. Love the language. Feel that you're there. And imitate. Imitate really is good. Especially when you feel like sleepy and you remember a comedy scene of a movie or um, anything. So I feel like, yeah, I know that that type of thing and uh, when you do that you feel like you're doing it without effort yes you want to sleep but you do it without effort you do the scene you act the scene without effort because your mind just remember it and you do it so it's, it's pretty cool uh, I have announced recently that I'm gonna make some courses for people that want to improve their English uh, soon there will be lovely courses uh, actually I have I have recorded some courses and put them onto the video section of this page so if you want to improve your pronunciation uh, go to the video section of the page you will see uh, lots of playlists one for American accent, one for grammar rules, one for vocabularies, one and so on. I have categorized them into uh, about five to eight uh, playlists. Um, so everybody, if you're with me live now, please tell me what's your name, where do you live, or just your country, all right? <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything, but just I want to know uh, who's live, who's alive with me right now, uh, who's watching me right now, who's listening. Um, right? So uh, I want to know what do you want, uh, what do you need, uh, how do you feel when you learn English? How has the language helped you to improve your life quality? I know so many people that learn English. Now they are sponsors and they make ads and they, um, they have learned new knowledge. So they know programming languages, they know um, 
uh, lots lots of stuff that if they didn't know English they wouldn't actually learn all that so uh, language is important of course uh, Mr. Rami hello how are you doing? you are doing well? okay this way just for 10 minutes I must count the time I must count it I don't wanna it, it just limit it all right, so uh, I'm gonna sing the song. Singing is very important because when you do that, you learn the language without effort. Yeah, singing is very important. Uh, could you tell me information about CELTA course? CELTA course is very important course given by the British Council. That's what I remember about it. It helps you and certifies you as an English teacher anywhere around the world so if you have this certificate you can work anywhere you like with a good salary you can even uh, actually um, advertise yourself w with this certificate you are really qualified teacher okay Uh, Google is really, Google is a big big world. You can um, Google anything. Oh, you'll find any anything you want. And the prices and people that might have taken this course. Uh, I have I've talked before about how to learn English. The keys to learning language. Uh, you would probably see this video onto my video section of this page I'm not gonna talk about this today uh, unless if someone asks me a certain question about learning English but we're just chatting everybody just tell me where are you from say hi uh, you know learning a new language is pretty challenging as as on myself I, I like learning many languages I wish I had time to do so um, I have uh, during my classes that I give to my Spanish students I learned some Spanish from them so um, ex excuse me if I just pronounce something wrong because it's just beginner in, uh, in learning other languages um, they always say like adios amigo um, the Spanish this is Spanish or um, amigo amiga something like that Comustas. If someone is from Spain or Mexico, you all you will probably understand what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Uh, also, some people from Italy they say uh, "Buongiorno," "Come stai?", "Bene grazie," "Ele," "Molto bene grazie." Uh, Spanish people say "Gracias." It's like some words are similar. Uh, Japanese people, uh, I, I learned how to say my name in Japanese. I, I hope this is correct. Watashi no nami ni nzagadisukwa. Watashi no nami ni nzagadisukwa. Very difficult language. Uh, a word in the Chinese would be like ni hao. Uh, yeah, well, language is very, very interesting. Uh, Muhammad Walid, I am a new. In UK, you want to improve my English? Kindly give me some tips. Um, usually, people that live in a native country they know the language already by practicing. So try to practice as much as you can with people around you. Um, think of everything around you. Try to describe it if you could then you would be able to speak English just fine. So point to something like this. Point. Oh, what is that? This is a mobile phone. Okay. That's a mobile phone. How about, what is this? What's that? This is a paper. And so on. Try to look around you and think. What is that? This is a tree. This is a palm tree. This is ground. Okay. 
so in this way you'll learn lots of vocabulary that around you you see it every day um, that's that's how you learn vocabularies and uh, if you are in the UK uh, you know there are many accents around you so if you if you live for uh, in a place for a long time then uh, what you need to do is to learn their accent because uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning it, you would find this very difficult to un to listen what exactly they are saying so um, that that's normally that happens to all all people living in a new uh, world new country so go to YouTube and try to learn their accent the accent which is used in your country the area where you live in okay in this way you, it will be easy for you easier all right to communicate with the people around you um, try to use your time with people all right don't don't just stay okay at home uh, learning English by reading books or stuff like that this is yes it's good but don't use all of your time to do just reading okay your language has four skills four keys listening reading speaking and uh, writing so try to do all of them go a coffee shop go to a coffee shop and, and see how's it going go to walk in the street ask for directions see how people would help you to direct you somewhere um, live live for some time in this way you will be able to in, in, immerse yourself into the language and um, that will be lovely sing songs as I'm going to do something right now singing songs is very efficient uh, because you learn you know I, I, I can't say you're learning vocabularies from songs with some some of them actually slang and the grammar rules are broken in the songs but probably you'll learn some stories some feelings some intonation um, and stuff like that that's what you learn from singing you learn how they're pronouncing the sounds and um, most of the, most most of the songs use vowels vowel sounds a lot R E A I O all these sounds together you might find it in one song so if you don't have time to learn phonetics which is a big science that is learned in college then you can just sing a song um, what type of songs should I sing or should I listen to pick up your favorite okay uh, but I would recommend that you would actually um, listen to something that is calm you can hear the words clearly because if you can't hear the words then why 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 you sing that would be a waste of time just listen to music out oh, that's fine nice I like it <laughs> but you don't actually listen to the vocabularies or to anything I mean then you're not learning from what you're listening to okay we'll practice singing together uh, just right now uh, Meher, Meher, allow me to talk to you. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Write your questions, anything you wanna. I'm here. Until you write your questions, let me uh, sing a song. I'm not a professional singer, actually. I'm just a teacher, a teacher holder. I hold a certificate from Arizona State University in the United States. That helps me to teach English. This is called TESOL, teaching English to speakers of other languages. And probably soon I will take CELTA or another certificate that gives me experience to help people learn English. So, Adel Song, my favorite, someone like you. I'm actually going to say it slowly. Okay, so that actually feel the music and feel the words. So let's see. Sing along with me. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the, the, the lyrics in the comments. Okay, here we go. And you can sing along with me to learn pronunciation. Okay. I heard that you're settled down, that you found a girl and you're married now. Again, I heard that you're Settle down that you found a girl and you married now. I heard that your dreams came true. Guess she gave you things I didn't give to you. Old friend, why are you so shy? And like you to hold back or hide from the light. I had to turn up, I had to turn up out of the blue and invite him, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight it, I'd hope to see my face. And that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. Mm. All right, who's singing? Who's singing again? I heard that you settled down, that you found a girl, and you married now. I heard. That your dreams came true. Yes, she gave you things. Didn't give to you. Old friend, why are you so shy? Like you to hold back or hide from a light. Had to turn out out of the blue on a run, but I couldn't stay away. I couldn't fight. Up to see my face and that you'll be reminded that for me it isn't over. Oh. Yes, I hear you say it. I hear you say it. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Too, don't forget me, I beg. I remember you say. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes hurts in a state. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes hurts in a state. Yes, who is, who is with me, guys? <clears throat> oh, someone's here. Halim. Hi, Halim. Hi, Fat. How are you doing? Halim Halim. You know how the time flies on me. Yesterday were the time of our lives. We were born and raised in a summary bound by the surprise of our group of our of our of our glory days Had to turn out out of the blue on a vine But I couldn't stay away I couldn't fight It's up to see my face And that you'd be reminding that for me It isn't over Never mind, I'll find someone like you I wish nothing but the best for you to don't forget me I beg I remember you saying sometimes less in love but sometimes 
hurts in a state. Sometimes the lies in love, but sometimes it hurts in state. Yeah, that's that's you know you feel um, you feel something beautifully. Uh, you learn the language by by singing. Uh, you learn words, vocabularies. You learn the language by singing. Uh, so th that's lovely. <clears throat> uh, let's let's do another just piece. Uh, let's do rap. Uh, there's an old song called "Hit the Road, Jay." Hit the 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 road. Uh, and here's the lyrics for this song. Always watch the lyrics while you're singing because um, just you need to know the words that you're listening to. But a good exercise: listen to the song first, enjoy it, feel it, then listen it again, but watching the lyrics. This way will help you to actually um, learn, improve your listening skills. Listen first without looking to the lyrics. Lyrics are the words. Then, what are you gonna do? L listen and look at the lyrics. Okay. So let's do another song for uh, Ray Charles. Ray Charles, share this video, guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> People have different accents, aren't they? Okay, uh, I'm trying to post the lyrics for the minute. Hold one minute and you'll be there. Okay. Let's do it together. Tum, 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 Dum, hit a road, Jake. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit a road, Jake. Don't you come back no more. Again, hit a road, Jake. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit a road, Jake. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Oh, woman, no oh, woman, don't me just mean because not meanest woman I ever seen. I guess if you said so. Singing, I am singing. singing. Yeah, I'm singing. Singing and. Uh, Hello, Jake. Don't come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jake. Don't come back no more. And this is how you learn the language by singing. Do you have any final questions? Yeah, absolutely. Uh. Do you guys have any final questions? I hope that I didn't. I have not exceeded the time limit. Uh, yes. Alright guys, thank you for being with me today, and I'll see you soon. Watch the videos on this page, and we'll be together soon. And thank you for being with me today. Bye-bye.